Hi, my name is Harvey Swan, and today I will be discussing three types of communication facilitators that can improve a client interview. There are times in an interview where we may want a client to continue speaking and not interrupt their narrative. We need to still show that we are actually listening to what they are saying. And to achieve this, we can use intentional listening techniques. These can take the form of nonverbal cues such as leaning forward or nodding our head. Or if there is a pause, we could use a verbal cue, an open-ended question which prompts the client to continue talking. Tell me more about that. By intentionally listening to the client, we can ensure that they are feel as though they are being heard and therefore provide us with a clearer narrative during the interview. In the 1970s, there was a study on communication which found 55% of body language contributed to personal communication. Now that we understand how critical our body language is, we can use it in client interviews. Maintaining appropriate eye contact, keeping an open and receptive body position or leaning forward to show interest can all keep the client calm and receptive to questions. However, the usage of these techniques should be adaptable as people and cultures can view them differently. So we must remain open to how our clients respond individually and adapt our body language accordingly. Active listening requires that we contribute more to the conversation but it allows us to demonstrate that we're listening and acknowledging the client's emotions. An example of active lis listening would be a reflecting statement. This statement can reflect what the client has just told you, as well as acknowledging the emotion behind it. For example, we could say, that must have made you furious. By using this technique, we actually empathize with the client, and this allows them to speak more freely and openly with us during the interview. In conclusion, by employing these techniques and a wide variety of others, we can become more effective as interviewers. However, we should be conscious of how we're using them as overuse or improper use can both lead to an undesirable effect.